Hello and welcome to another thrilling episode of Excalibur CCG's Talking Comics, our weekly show uh, focusing on the books that are coming out on Wednesdays. Um, we are your hosts, I am Mark. I'm Olivia. And this week we are focusing on the books uh, for July 25th, 2018. Um, as always, we are located in two places, one in Shreveport, one in Texarkana. We're in the Shreveport store. Um, you can get directions or phone numbers. Actually, they'll flash the phone numbers on here. Um, but you can go to our website, ExcaliburCCG.com, or our Facebook page, and you can get directions, or you can call the store, however you want to do it. Um, we have uh, still GeekCon coming up. Um, August 17th through the 19th. Um, tickets we have are Saturday and weekends. Saturday's 20, weekends 25. Any, anything else to add to that? There are other tickets available, but not here. Right. You gotta go to their website. Website or at the box office when you go to the con. Um, it's a fairly big week, a little bit bigger than last week. Um, so we'll just dive right into it. You want to start us off? Okay, Action Comics 1001 with Brian Michael Bendis and Patrick Gleason. The devastating repercussions from the Man of Steel miniseries still reverberate as Metropolis enters a new age. The Daily Planet teeters on the brink of disaster. A new criminal element has made its way onto the streets of Superman's hometown. Okay, so this is uh, Bendis' first issue of Action. Uh, Superman 1 is out, and we still have copies of that if you need that. And, um, Superman's focusing more on the superhero side, and Action's focusing more on the Daily Planet side of stuff and the street level stuff, so we'll see how that works out. Um, for me, I'm going to Boom Studios. Uh, this is Bone Parish, number one. My old friend Cullen Bunn, back with another book. Uh, Mustafa Karasu uh, doing the art. A uh, new drug is sweeping through the streets of New Orleans, one made from the ashes of the dead. Uh, wars are being fought over who will control the supply, while the demand only rises. Must be good. Must be good stuff. While the crime families wage war, users begin to experience terrifying visions of the dead coming back to life through them. Um, Cullen Bunn, probably the best horror writer out there as far as, you know, got Harrow County and stuff like that, and his stuff is gold usually. I uh, really enjoy his work. Okay, Kyoko Ko. Uh, number one of three from Alterna Comics with writer, artist, and cover artist Rob Feldman. Super Earth's greatest hero is here. Kyoko Ko. Oh, Kyoko Ko? Uh, oh, Kyoko yeah. Ko. Okay. Is the fourth wall breaking, ping, pinball, ad, ad, pinball addicted motorcycle ride in hero you've been waiting for. When Kuda Kano, Kyoko's oldest rival, challenges Kyoko to a friendly surf off. He just can't resist, but with the remote controlled giant squid at his disposal, Kuda's playing for keeps. Well, that's another one of uh, Alterna, the usually $1.50 uh, comics there, always mini series, but uh, usually good stuff. Um, next up for me from DC Comics is DC Beach Blanket Bad Guys Special Number 1. Um, this is written by Paul Dini and others, and Carlos Deanda and Various doing art, good old Various. Uh, it's summertime in the DCU, and the bad guys are taking over. Uh, beat the Heat with ten, ten all-new stories by top comics talent, starring DC's most spectacular supervillains. In this issue, find out what Mr. Freeze does on the hottest day of the Gotham City summer. Learn what made Grodd such a bad gorilla. Then, while in a small beach town, Deathstroke gets hired for murder by the last person he'd expect. You'll have to read to find out. And the Joker and Bizarro team up for a truly weird summer bromance. So that sounds like fun. That sounds more like one of DC's fifth week books, but uh, they're sticking it out on a um, fourth week. Okay. Dissension War Eternal, number one by Aspen MLT Inc. Um, Jordan Gunderson is the writer with Christopher Fielder. Artist Jordan Gunderson and Gordon Jun Jordan Gunderson. <laughs> and Gordon Gunderson. <laughs> in the not so distant future, the U.S. has spent several years embroiled in a conflict with the invading forces of China. In the war zone of in the war zone of, Amer 
of the American Southwest, small bands of freedom fighters have formed to help guide refugees away from the destruction. Isabel Vesquez, known to her squad as Delphi, has been leading rescue missions inside the combat zone for years. Escorting those displaced from the war has fueled her faith that she is, make, that is, she is making a, dis, a difference. But now that faith is increasingly tested by recurring nightmares of a coming apocalypse, she fears the war is not only the beginning of a great threat, one that promises to bring humanity to the brink of extinction. Unbeknownst to Delphi, a band of renegade angels has fled heaven seeking a new refuge. The earth has become their new home where they view humanity as a plague that must be purged as their path forces eh, as their path forges ahead through toward global genocide. It is yet decided if Delphi Delphi and her growing and growing visions of a global Armageddon can help stop them in time. Oh, you got one of those ones where they pretty much tell you the whole comic book in the synopsis there. So um, it sounds like a lot of things are going to happen. A lot of stuff going on in the post-apocalypse. Um, I'm going to come back to that one, so I'll hit this one. Um, that's not a number one, so I'll come back to that. This is uh, from DC also, Justice League Dark number one, finally coming out after a little bit of a delay, about a month or so. Um, James Tinian the fourth. Um, Alvarado, Alvaro Eduardo Martinez Bueno, I guess that's two people, it's probably Alvaro Eduardo and Martinez Bueno, and Raul Fernandez, um, all contributing to the art. Earth's magic once belonged to them, now they want the magic back, but who exactly are they? It's up to the new Justice League Dark to find out and stop this nightmarish new threat at all costs. After the events of No Justice, shame on you if you didn't get that, um, we still have maybe some of them left? I don't know. Um, team leader Wonder Woman guides the misfit magic mix of Zatanna, Swamp Thing, Man Bat, and the Detective Chimp against enemies too fantastic even for the Justice League. Plus, what awful things are coming through the Tree of Wonder. Dark days ahead. More dark days for the DCU. Okay, long con number one from Oni Press. Um, Dylan Mekones and Ben Coleman for the writers, Emily Dench and M. Victoria Robado as M. artists. Origado. Mr. Robado. And Emily Denick for cover artists. Five years ago, a catal catalysmic event obliterated everything within a 50 mile radius of Los Spinoza Convention. Within a 50 mile radius. Oh no. <laughs> I do that all Radius time, of Las Spinova <laughs> Convention with Convention Center, including the attendees of LongCon, but the world's biggest and longest comic convention. But unknown to the outside world, the con goers not only survived, they kept the convention going. When proof of their survival surfaces, reporter Victor Lai is sent to the is sent to investigate after all what? <laughs> he said to investigate. After all, he was covering the con that fateful day and escaped mere minutes before everything went kablooey. I think they meant kablooey. Right. Abandoning his nerdy friend Dez in the process. So clearly he's the perfect person for the job, and he won't get trapped inside like some kind of idiot, right? <laughs> well, sounds like he will, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, Alright, next up for me. For, you're getting a lot of the destruction and... Obliteration. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Kind of Mr. Um, Mr. and Mrs. X, number one from Marvel Comics. This is the surprise wedding that took place, the old switcheroo in the X-Men Gold last month. Uh, this is from Kelly Thompson, Oscar Baz Bazaldua, Bazaldua, Bazaldua. Uh, Terry Dodson doing the cover art for the main book. I'm sure there'll be a hundred covers for this. Um, Love and Marriage Part 1, straight from the pages of X-Men Gold, there you go. To the surprise of everyone, the Marvel Universe's hottest couple has finally tied the knot after all these years. In their extraordinary lives, they've faced nearly every challenge imaginable, but how will they fare against former flames making trouble? An entire galaxy in jeopardy. You want it, we got it. Marriage X-Men style. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Um, they're finally they finally tied the knot after all these years, and uh, we'll see what kind of wackiness ensues now. Okay, New World number one of five, with cover A by A Moore and oh, I guess cover A by Moore and Muller. 
Oh, I'm going to delete that. Oh, anyway. okay. So, New World number one of five. Um, Mature by Image Comics. Alez Not for the writer. Artist Trad Moore and Heather Moore. And cover artist Trad Moore. Chris Hunter will love this book. He loves Trad Moore. The United States of America after the Civil War. Two lovers meet. One, a straight-edge vegan hacker, anarchist boy with a penchant for messing with the state. The other, a chaotic hedonistic <laughs> cop with a reality TV show and a license to kill. This really shouldn't happen, and yet somehow it does. And soon the entire state of New York, the entire state of New California is after them. New California. So another like future kind of thing for you. It's um, a new world. A new world. Um, all right, so. This is also from Marvel Comics. This is Wakanda Forever. Um, the last one was Wakanda Forever with Amazing Spider-Man. This time it's Wakanda Forever with X-Men. Um, Nidhi Okafor, um, Ray Anthony Height on writing in art chores. Another cover by Terry Dodson. The former Dora Milaje member and Eternal Troublemaker Nakia, a.k.a. Malice, has set up a trap to lure the Black Panther into her obsessive clutches. Step one, take out the Panther's one true love. Storm of the X-Men, who he used to be married to, but not anymore, I guess. They got divorced? I don't know. Um, but Nakia did not count on the interference of her former warriors in arms, the fierce Dora Milaje. And they're hot on her trail. Can Okoye, Ao, and Anika capture Malice before she wrecks Havok, another Chris Hunter reference, on, the king's, on their king's life again? Um, you can do that one if you want. This is not a number one. This is just one that's been a long time coming, you know, every two months now plus. So number six is finally coming. They may have um, gotten unmarried and they did all their renumbering and stuff that's, for like the uh, that's, seventh time. That's in entirely row. possible. The whole Secret Wars thing could have done undid that. Yeah, that's entirely possible. Okay, Doomsday Doc, Doomsday Clock number six of twelve with Joff. Johns and Gary Frank as artist and cover artist. The groundbreaking event continues as the mime and the marionette take center stage in oh. Doomsday Clock. Yes, number Doomsday six. Clock. I just deleted that part and didn't delete the end part. Yeah, so finally number six is coming out. I had people asking about that this week. So yes, number six is out. Um, and then number seven will be probably two months away again. So. Um, but that's it for this week. That's the big books. That's the must-haves. Um, obviously, there's more stuff coming out. Amazing Spider-Man 2 is coming out. So more big stuff, but this is the main stuff. Um, so now we move into our little segment of um, current and back issues. You want to start? Okay. So we got new and old, new, Archie meets Batman 66, number one. Um, Lodge is doing stuff that they want to stop. Um, all the villains of Gotham are getting together and they're upset that Batman keeps spoiling all their plans. So what if they start their crime wave a couple hours away in Riverdale? <laughs> so they're all trying to team up and do some evil stuff. And that's cool. Yeah, all the people of authority are acting a little weird. That's a, that's a great little team up there. That's, that looks mm -hmm. very fun. Um, I think that's a... I'm not sure if that's a four or six issue. Mini series. Uh, six issue. Six I issue. Think. Okay. Uh, they do a really good job of collecting all those old uh, Marvel comics and all that at an affordable price because they're you know ridiculous expensive if you buy an issue an issue. Um, so anyway, that's it. That's our show for the week. Um, until next time, keep reading your comics and remember always uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, let us know what you think of the show. Let us know what you think of our uh, issues or if you've heard any news or anything that we haven't. Um, just comment below. And until then, we'll see you next time.